Hey, welcome to war. Bed Wars. I will be your war-tattered guide, Luke the Notable. Over the next 30 minutes, you'll watch me play 100 games of Bed Wars, one of the most popular Minecraft minigames of all time. So, now it's time to go to war. I hope you're ready. Eh, it's really not that serious. Might have hit good for the intro, though. Hope you liked it. Welcome to Bed Wars. If you've never played before, don't worry, I'll explain it. You're actually watching my first game now. I really had no idea what I was doing. To put it simply, in Bed Wars, you've got a bed. And you have to make sure no one destroys that bed. But it looks like that's about to happen to me right now. Without your bed, you have no extra lives. If you end up dying, it's over. You know, I didn't expect to last too long in my first game, especially knowing nothing. But at least I wasn't the first one to die. So obviously, it can be helpful to build a little shelter around your bed so someone can't walk right up to it and destroy it like last game. Look at me, already learning. I'll be a pro soon. Now, I didn't mind for those red blocks. You can't do that in Bed Wars. You've got to go to the back of your base and pick up your stimulus check. From there, you can buy any item you want all the way up to diamond gear. Well, looks like someone's already attacking me and all I've got is an iron sword and tons of wool. He then very easily blew up my defenses and destroyed my bed. I killed him, but he definitely won that engagement. I tried to bridge away from my failures and got exploded. That's pretty standard for game two. All right, game three. I put a little bit of end stone around my bed. Maybe I'll last four minutes instead of three. If you've never played Bed Wars before, you might be wondering why I don't just sit on my island all day, and the answer is diamonds. Gold and iron spawn at your base, but diamonds and emeralds spawn in the center, and they're much better currency. With them, you can buy diamond gear, jump boost potions. I mean, look at me. I tower over this guy. Thanks to my emeralds, I jumped over that yellow guy, and right as I broke his bed, he fell off the map. That's convenient. Killing your neighbor is very important, because now all the diamonds will be mine. But only one more neighbor left in this one, and by the look of that move, he plays this game instead of having friends. I don't mean to insult him, I'm just salty that I'm not good at this game that I've only played for 15 minutes. He destroyed my bed and then destroyed me. I don't know why I couldn't hit him, but it's only game three. I'm sure I'll learn. Yeah, look at me, right here, learning game four. I built straight to the diamonds, first thing. Then I spent about an hour looking at all the shop items while predators lurked. Fortunately, my neighbor this game must have been just as bad as me because he built me a bridge right to his bed. He, of course, then came to to take vengeance and knows how to use his sword better than I. Lost my bed, then lost the game. That one was promising. I'm telling you right now, if you see a guy doing this sort of motion, just give up. He's better than you. This one really wanted me dead, and I knew he'd get me eventually, but I wanted to make it a little hard on him. I had the high ground, though, and because of that, I won this battle. Yeah, but then he went home, picked up his tax revenue, and spent it on bombs. I had no chance. One of my main issues in my early games of Bed Wars was the shop. I was just so slow with it. I'd be casually browsing for items, and when I'd turn around, my bed would be destroyed. Ugh. And I'll be perfectly honest, even after 100 games, I'm still not sure how to do melee combat. Yeah, here we go. Same thing, game seven. I'm messing with the shop and my bed got destroyed. Don't get me wrong, you can definitely win with a destroyed bed, but you kind of have to be good to do that. Decided to change up my strat a bit, game eight. I haven't been winning. Might as well try something new. Basically, I just rushed my neighbor's bed as hard as my neighbors have been rushing me. Pink was in the back, not paying attention, and it definitely didn't look pretty, but I got him. From there, I just tried to get as much money as I could. There's no way I'm going to win this unless I'm super strong. I was minding my own business shopping when I started dying. The most American thing I can think of. I mean, at this point, do I even have to say what happens next? You could probably guess. He killed me. Game 9 was so fast, I got rushed and my bed almost instantly destroyed. With my last life, I took myself out. I'm not too proud of it. As he stared into the blackness of the void, he would momentarily be swallowed by. He thought of his family that he had let down. His only daughter would now grow up without a father. And for what? For what? Well, looks like game 10's gonna end quick too. Awesome! All right, I'm gonna give you all a little advice. If you want to get into Bed Wars, try a team game first. When you have some extra teammates to rely on, you're not gonna get rushed immediately, and honestly, I would have learned a little bit more. I was able to get the occasional kill, but my team definitely did most of the work. I tried to focus on getting diamonds and emeralds for my team, and it really helped them out. I was kind of just running around when we won the game, but hey, we won. That counts. Game 12, I'm back in the team-based Bed Wars, having some fun with it. I sat around doing nothing, collecting stimulus checks, like a productive member of society. Every single one of us was distracted when someone from the red team came up and broke our bed. I tried to get him back and I could see the bed, but then I got attacked. First guy actually went down easy, but guy number two got me. I'm also starting to kind of figure out the sword combat. The trick is you gotta click as fast as possible. It's incredibly exploitable using any sort of auto clicker that are very easy to get, so I prefer to use a bow. Just keep them all away from me. I mean, I get it. It's a block game for children, but clicking fast to me just isn't that interesting. Even after 100 games, melee combat never really grew on me, but it's a fair criticism of Bed Wars. The game does have a lot of strategy, though, 
and that's what keeps me in it. It's not all about clicking fast, that'll only get you so far. Resource management, positioning, structure creation all play a massive part in Bed Wars, and in game 13 we played those aspects well, and won. Playing more Team Bed Wars game 14, but this one was gonna end in a one verse one It was me and the last red player, and neither one of us had a bed. And I got absolutely destroyed, but you'll have to watch this one in slow motion. Right as I got the high ground and shot my explosive, he shot it right back at me with an arrow. I don't know if he meant to do that, but either way, it worked, and I died. Alright, now I'm back to solos. I feel like I've picked up enough info to do decently now. Yup, but then ran out for diamonds and emeralds, and then completely fell off the map. Some guy saw, took out my bed, and I didn't last much longer. That's alright, I was really driven to get my first solo win. And I might have, but of course, got caught lacking in the shop. POV, you are British. Every melee fight I get into just feels like luck. If I come out on top, I don't know why. I kind of tried to stay to myself in this one and get as many upgrades as I could. Yeah, I played well. Came down to a one versus one against Pink who had a bed. However, I did not, and I lost. Hope was low. Similar strat game 18, I just rushed emeralds, trying to get as rich as I could as fast as possible. I didn't take out a single person, and now it's a one versus one, and I've got diamond gear and a bow. Oh, he was way weaker than I was, but I could tell he was mechanically way better at the game. As I ran to Yellow's base to destroy their bed, they took out mine. In an effort to save his bed, he killed himself, which transports you back home, but severely degrades your power, and because of that, I got the kill and the win. I was happy about that one. I had people telling me I wasn't gonna win a single one in my first hundred. So now I've found a strategy that works. Instead of learning how to click good, I'm gonna exploit capitalism. Just try to take out my bed when I've got all the best items in the game. I'd like to see it. One verse one again. Just yellow and I, and neither one of us has a bed. I bought myself the best bow in the game. It's got power and punch, so if I hit all my shots, he can't touch me. I also packed explosives, and right here, knocked him off the map, but not completely. He's in that yellow hole, but I'm gonna take my time. Back-to-back -back wins would be awesome. Munched on my golden apple, dropped in, and let him have it. That was a good win. Oh, I see. The moment the yellow guy fell down here, he was done. He couldn't build out. So tragic. Well, now I feel like an absolute champion. I could not win a single other game and still feel good. But no, I won't be winning back to back to back. I got caught in my own base again. This really shouldn't be happening. Game 21, I didn't even defend my bed. I just went straight for that money. And before long, I had some of the best stuff in the game, and the other guy was bedless. However, while looking for him, I lost my bed too. I can tell by the way he moves around, he's way gooder. This is gonna be tough. I had a better sword and better armor, but that meant absolutely nothing. One of the things I loathe the most is when someone just builds over your bed and TNTs it. I was able to survive this time, but still, man, leave me alone. That yellow guy really wanted me dead, chased me all around, but I wouldn't go down easy. Red got me. I clicked my little heart out. It could just be my internet. I mean, look at this guy. I hit him a few times before anything happened. Blue also looked like he was bending the very fabric of space and time. I'm amazed I even killed him. All my dealings with Blue gave Pink an opportunity to commit some felonies. He then allegedly stabbed me to death. I was just trying to keep everyone away from me. Game 24, maybe that'll be a good strategy. So far, the hermit lifestyle was working out for me. I was just about to put some obsidian on my base, but I realized I didn't have a pickaxe to change it all out, and my bed got destroyed. I stayed alive about four more seconds. Early game 25, I bridged my way over to some emeralds, and yes, this is about as fast as I can go. Hey, at least I got there faster than Aqua, the Mega Bridger. I could tell he was thirsty, so I tried to go back home and buy things to defend myself, but it was too late. It's kind of amazing how many games end like this. You want to see the amateur play of the century? Well, it's right here on game 26. Here I'm attacking White's bed, but White's dead and has been for some time. But somehow, even with that huge display of stupidity, it's a one verse one. Me against Gray, who is bedless, and apparently has been in my base the whole time. He could have just wrecked my bed and ended the game, but instead decided to kill me a bunch of times. Yeah, maybe it's a little toxic, but it's also confident, and I can respect that. I'm dealing with more relentless rushers, game 27, but I was able to keep him at bay with some explosives. I'm just so bad with the sword, if they get anywhere near me, I'm cooked. Then this guy pulled the whole TNT over my bed strat, just an awesome game of all the things I hate. I got him here mostly because he blew himself up, but he'll be back. Yep, here he is. He's back. Yay! So the notes for game 28 just say one thing. Bad. I don't know, sometimes I just get emotional when I write that stuff. Let's see how bad it was. Looks like Gray came in and killed me. Fine. Yeah, then he blew up my bed. Killed me again. Just seems like a normal game. It's bad, sure. Oh well, next one. Hey, Red. You think there's any chance we can settle this peacefully? Yeah, I didn't think so. DIE! Looks like Red's gonna get my bed, but you know what? I'm gonna go get his. I did, 
but I died for it. Totally worth it. Aha! The perfect chance to rush over to Green's base and destroy his bed. Oh, he sees me. Ah, run! He got to my base and I could tell immediately what he was doing. He's gonna do the TNT thing. Ah! I tried to buy a fireball and stop him, but it was too late. And then blinded by vengeance, I fell off the map. Wow, hardly even got out of my base game 31 before my bed got ganked. Gotta say, I really tried to get him back, but just didn't. Yeah, and game 32 was a tough one as well. I was sandwiched between two players that both wanted me dead. Green from one side, white from the other. I just never got a break. Tried to go for white's bed, then green went for mine, and then white attacked me from behind. Great game. My hope wasn't totally gone. I could still win, but not if I don't pay attention. However, I did very well, game 33, getting tons of emeralds and diamonds in the center of the map. Here's a tip though, when you've got seven diamonds and nine emeralds, go home and spend them. You don't want to end up like me. My bed was still standing, so I wasn't dead but I felt dead inside. That whole scenario cost me so much momentum, I had to go back out for more money, and because of that, lost my bet. I had a chance until I ran out of arrows, and then I had to use sword combat. You know how good I am at that. I'm gonna skip to the end of game 34, where it's a one versus one me against green. We were actually neighbors the whole game, and just never connected until the end. I tried to get into his base all sneaky-like, but failed, and even with better armor, he still killed me. He then destroyed my bed, and pretty much proved he'd win any and all knife fights we had. I mean, hey, second place is pretty good. Mom will still love me. I think. From the moment game 35 started, I could tell that Yellow and I would have some beef. We were neighbors from the start and ended up in a one verse one both with our beds. He was very good mechanically, but one thing he didn't do was connect his island to the center. And I knew this, so I pretty much just sat outside his base with a bow. I was able to control all of the money in the world, but he did get my bed. Sure, I didn't have a bed, but he was still very much weaker than me. He actually tried to branch out, but I used explosives to keep him isolated and poor. I was playing the long game, because if you wait long enough, all of the beds get destroyed. So even though he got my bed, I'm still stronger with a better economy. Again, exploiting capitalism. I enderpearled over to his base, instantly spawned iron golems, and he didn't even realize until it was seriously too late. My iron golems applauded me furiously. My opponent did not. Another one versus one in the end, game 36. I really don't know why I rushed him here. I had nine emeralds in my inventory, could have gone home and upgraded myself. Instead, I chose to die. White then killed me several times in my own base because he could click faster. Eventually, he did get my bed, and then he got me. Game 37 was promising. Fairly early on, one of my neighbors got killed. When that happens, it just makes it a lot easier for you to get money. Was on the home stretch with a bunch of emeralds and diamonds, gonna make myself huge, but got exploded and fell down. Oh yeah, then my bed got exploded. I got in a boxing match and couldn't even touch him. Should have installed my auto clicker. Had some really nice plays early game 38 to secure my good fortune. I mean, look at that shot. Got my bow and now I have hope that I can win. There's no way I could do it with just a sword. One versus one, me and Aqua, and we're both medless. I was able to get him pinned in the middle with my bow in a really bad spot. He only had one way out through me and my bow, and I think he went out on his own terms. Fantastic start to game 39. I got an insane lead in the economy because my neighbors didn't even bother me. At a certain point, my strength was just too much to overcome. That and I had golems. With three people left, I was 100% fully kitted out and still had my bet. One versus one, me versus Aqua, and I could tell he was good by the way he moved around. Listen, I don't care how good you are. If you got two iron golems on you, there's no survival. I got his bed, and that obviously agitated him, he chased me down. However, I had four fireballs, and you can tell almost immediately that he regretted his decision. He fell, I won, good game. You gotta know that game 40, I was sweating insanely hard. Three in a row would be a new record for me. Pink really wanted to kill me, I bet you I got recognized, but I'd never play on a Smurf account, that's for cowards. After killing Pink, I saw Green in the middle, and I shot him off the map for 10 emeralds. Yo! 1v1, Green and I, and I couldn't find him. Had no idea where he was. He must have lagged out when I broke his bed, I won. But that still counts. I gotta say, I'm a little upset with myself. I didn't try to go for four in a row in solos. If I win this one, it definitely doesn't count. But still, three in a row, I'll take it. This one was gonna end in red team versus blue team. And as you can see by the building, it got pretty epic. This one also ended kind of abruptly. They had a bed. They should have respawned. But we won the game after a few kills. Oh well. You know, I'll say this about team-based bed wars. I think it's where I have the most fun honestly. 100% it's just because I'm not that good, and the lower octane environment of squads bed wars is just better for me. You also get some very intricate base builds. You never see anything like this in solos. This was a very long game that was gonna end in a 1 verse 4, now 1 verse 3. You can hardly even see this bow shot, but that got another one. 1 verse 2, and I'm pushing in. Why? Because I'm insane. Yeah, then I stopped to eat a golden apple, the other guy caught smell of me, and bopped me off the edge. I would have liked to win that.
I want to save you some time. Game 43 was just bad. I was bad. My team was bad. We were all bad. Game 44 wasn't bad. Had some clutch plays in the end. Let's see. Two versus four here, and yellow team still has their bed. Thankfully, my teammate's amazing. All I did was shoot arrows and watch him kill everyone. He went from a two versus four to a one versus two. That's a good ending. Thank you, sir. I bow to you. All right, back to solos. I kind of felt bad relying on that person so much. Nice game for me. My neighbor was bad, and that's saying a lot. I started playing this game two days ago. Yeah, no offense, but you know you're not good at the game when Luke the Notable can beat you in a melee fight. One verse one, I've got no bed, and oh, he's right behind me. No one really bothered me game 46, and I just got my power punch bow when someone came into my base. <laughs> Not sure what was going on with this guy, game 47, but I hope he's okay. He just kind of let me kill him. I didn't even really want to. In the end, it was a one versus one against Blue, who was really, really good. The only reason I was still alive was I spent all game beating myself up. The plan was to stall Blue out because even with my better weapons, I was just no match for him. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used my bow so close up, but you know what? I'm just so bad with the sword. Ah! Uh, yep. I deserve to lose game 48, and I'll show you why. This player shot me off the edge and simultaneously broke my bed, so by the time I died, I died for good. Look at this shot, game 49. Oh yeah, I'm getting better at that. I just wish I could get good at the melee combat. It's so important for a win in bed wars, but I still default to my bow. One versus one, me and green, and of course, I'm using my bow. It's the only thing I'm good with. I went over to their base and realized it was all made of wool, so I blew it up with some fireballs. Walked up, broke the bed, spawned some golems, and won this game. It was all very technical. I feel like it's been a while since I got rushed early and died. Well, now's a good time. I clicked my little heart out with both fingers, but it wasn't enough. Game 51's gonna end in a one verse one, but I'm down a bed. I've clutched those before. He was definitely way better than me, and he was mean about it. That just made me want to beat him more. All I could do was play defense, but that got me several kills, which made him even madder. In the end, he used invisibility to kill me. I did say he was better. Hey neighbor, how you doing? Here's that cup of sugar you wanted. Oh, and I wanted to thank you for letting me borrow those hedge clippers. And this is what you get for sleeping with Linda. Right as I was slaying another citizen, the neighborhood watch came to stop me. Damn you, homeowners association! Game 53, Pink was trying to kill me all game. He must be a fan, and let's be honest, if I was a fan of me, I'd try to kill me too. Went to his base and shot him a bunch of times. That's what you get for liking my content. In the end, it was a 1v1 against Green, and we just dismantled each other's beds. Just a few seconds later, it was time to do or die, and I was pretty sure I was going to die. But then we both fell off the map. He just fell off faster. No, oh, I guess he disconnected. I really shouldn't have won that one. Back to another one verse one game 54. It's nice knowing the worst I can do is second. And with how many fireballs Gray was packing, it looks like that's what's gonna happen. Here I thought he straight up killed himself, but nope, he was just coming to kill me. I don't know how he hit me from so far away. He doesn't have a sword, he has a lance. Game 55 was one of the first games where I encased my bed in obsidian. And that was a good thing too. I got attacked shortly after. He was all over my base because he was simply better. I'm just glad I put in that obsidian. This one lasted so long it went to sudden death, and now I'm on his base with an iron golem. Got a real nice combo on him too, it looks like this one's over. I enderpearled to go finish him, which sent me into a wall. And then the lobby. Weird. Game 56, I got a stack of kills, no one was coming near my bed. Many tried, but none were notable. Remember lads, no matter how good you get at bed wars, nothing will bring dad back. Now it's a one verse one, I've got a bed, and yellow does not. That's a good feeling. My sword attacks landed for once, now if only I could hit like this every time, and from 13 blocks away. Didn't even need you, golem. Worthless trash! Ran into a newbie, game 57, and I didn't hesitate for a second to bully him. Well, maybe he'll learn that bed wars is no place for pacifism. One verse one, we're both bedless, but the other guy is attacking me in my home base, and it's gonna be pretty hard to kill me with a stable supply of rations. Green tried real hard to get to me, but I had basically unlimited arrows, there was no chance. One verse one again, me and Aqua, and I had absolutely no chance if I came anywhere near slashing distance. But for me, that's pretty standard. I just don't understand how everyone hits me from so far away. I'm trying, I really am. You know, I bet you I just gotta download more RAM, that's probably it. The notes for game 59 say that I got wrecked very early, and that's very, very accurate. Yep, lost early in game 62, and this guy taunted me. Ugh. Hey, yo, I'm gonna put my bed next to your girlfriend's. Early game 61, Green got my bed, but I got his. This is what violence gets you. When I came back home, he was waiting for me. That was a mistake. I kinda just harassed the other players. I didn't have much hope of winning. After getting a few kills and fighting in the middle, the lag started to set in. Maybe it's from all that RAM I downloaded. I didn't think I'd win that one anyway, but it sucks to lose from lag. Got rushed early game 62. Red destroyed my bed, so I hit him in the head until he was dead. Then I broke 
broke his bed, and that only led to a fight outside of my base with Red. I thought I might live, but he lived instead. White was rushing me game 63, and I was able to sort of fight him off. I knew he was good, so I've got to take him out now. If I let him live too long, it'll be an issue. White was right outside my base, and I thought this was a great time to go shopping. You can't trust the Whites. He destroyed my bed. Made it to the end, game 64, roaming around, and my bed got destroyed. With nothing left to live for, I rushed into Gray's base, but he had a good home security system. I knew he was coming, and took my guess, and that actually ended up killing him. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have gotten my pickaxe from the dollar store. You're lucky I'm so bad, Gray. If I was any better, you would have lost that. Then Gray rushed into my base, a struggle ensued, and I didn't make it. Game 65 only lasted a few minutes. I forgot to enchant my sword with Reach 5. He was just more of a man than me. I mean, he could click faster, and that's all that matters. And it was pure insanity on my base. Game 66, I didn't stand a chance. Didn't get a chance to get a bow. Game 67, you know how that one probably ended. Sandwich between two players. Game 68, I didn't last long. But here we go, game 69. It's always the best one. This is where I use 100% of my power. Ooh, look at this amazing shot with one fireball. I was able to knock Green away and instantly take out his bed. Sorry, Steve, but we all know Alex is the best default skin. I spent a good amount of time building up my base because a win on game 69 is all this notable man hopes for. While I was securing wealth and upgrading myself, the rest of the lobby was fighting amongst themselves until I was the only one left with a bed. One versus one, I had diamond armor, blue had chain mail. It's no surprise that I won, and it was so much nicer that it was game 69. He got off easy, I had so much more in my pockets to give him. Obviously, I'm going for the back-to-back -back game 70. Maybe then mom will be proud. In this one, I was able to loot up in peace while some guy who was really good killed everyone else in the lobby. He said I wasn't real in the chat. I wonder if this will convince him. Like I said, he was really good. He had already killed everyone else. I was just one more on his list. Game 71 was very violent. Fantasy violence. Don't take away my money. Right here, I was able to take out Blue's bed, and now I'm the only player in the game left with one. That made him very upset, and he was quite the clicker. I had a bow, really tried to keep him off me, but wasn't able to. Ooh, and I almost got him too, but didn't. Red was thirsty for my soul, game 72. I think you could tell I was an easy target. Using my bow, I could kind of keep him off me, but I did miss a few good shots here. He got my bed as I was falling off the map. I don't think I've ever done that to anyone. I'm giving up on the sword, I just am. My new strat is try to get a bow as fast as possible. It's the only way I can win. If someone Someone rushes me early, I'll just perish. And you know what? I've made my peace with that. Makes me want to do this whole video again, but with a good setup for bed wars. There are certain mice that just make you play better. It's that simple. I didn't know much when I started this video, but if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments below and definitely subscribe. You may have noticed I just lost my bed, but I went to the only other two players in the match and got both of theirs. Three guys left, everyone's bedless, and now they're both fighting each other. This is good. I came in right as the dust settled and spawned some golems. Gray tried to run away, but I hit him with my bow into the fray. Good win. I always like doing it bedless. Similar strat game 74. I just rushed a bow as fast as I could. Didn't even bother getting a new sword. I thought I was about to end the game here, but didn't know that glass is actually explosion proof in this game. And then I fell off the map. Ooh, that was bad. I shouldn't have showed that. Oh well, I went back and got Aqua's bed the old fashioned way. Probably should have led with that. After that, it was an absolute war of attrition. He pretty much just stayed in his base the whole time. Wouldn't let me come close. So I decided to pull out every trick I knew, starting with an invisibility potion. Then I ender pearled over to his base right as he told me 26 people died in Moana. Oh, he had no idea I was there. I spawned some golems and he instantly started running away. I shot him in the back. He fell off. I won. Good game. Got recognized by my neighbor, Game 75. He couldn't believe that I was real. He asked if we could take a picture together, and I agreed. Think your worst he could do was kill me. Joke's on him. I'm not real. And then shortly after, I was murdered. Listen, White, you don't want to do this. Just turn back. Smart man. Again, I got myself a bow and was able to effectively defend my property. Well, I could tell he didn't appreciate it. He wanted me to get close so he could use his double-click mouse. One verse one, I got his bed, he got mine. Even fight. You can tell by the way he ran straight into my arrows that he was just fed up with me using a bow. I said GG and he called me disgusting in Spanish. Honestly, I deserve it. Well, looks like I'm losing my bed almost immediately, game 77. Pink did that, but then someone killed him, and I survived. That let me rush my way to a power punch bow, and now there's hope that I could win. And after defiling Yellow's bed, we're all bedless. I could tell White wanted to slash me, but I wouldn't let him, just kept firing my arrows. Then he hid in a corner, and I booped him off with a fireball. Now the only one left was Yellow, and I nailed an absolutely perfect shot to shoot him off the map for my victory. You know, if game 75 didn't exist, that would have been four in a row. 
row. Wouldn't have had five wins in a row anyway. I got rushed really hard game 78 and died. Same thing game 79. This one only took a minute and a half. But game 80 was gonna end in a one versus one against this red guy who was just insanely good. The man could bridge backwards faster than I could run. I was afraid. I could tell he was getting annoyed by me using my bow when he took cover and I saw this as a golden opportunity. I ran back to his base and got his bed. He hardly even defended it. One versus one. Other guy has no bed and mine is encased in obsidian. He rushed me at my own base and I thought I might have had him. I really shouldn't have let him get into sorting distance. Once he did, it was all over. He broke my bed, then broke my spirit. I said GG but didn't mean it. I built up a nice bed defense, game 81. You never think of wood planks as strong, but in bed wars they are. It might save you a little bit. White tried to get my bed, but forgot an axe and couldn't get through. I tried to get him back, but just couldn't. I'm so feeble. Game 82, I was being smashed between two gentlemen. That would be good if I was your mom. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this one. I died, like your grandma. Barely got center connection, game 83, before Red wanted a piece of me. Yeah, he definitely clicked faster than me and killed me. I can only hope that later in life he saw from Carpal Tunnel. Aqua was harassing me all of game 84, but I can't really blame him. It's sort of the point of the game. I was messing around with my shops when he broke my bed. I can't believe I still let that happen. I got to the end, but finished second place where I belong. I was getting rushed again really hard. Game 85, doesn't he know I need a bow? Red and green rushed me. Sometimes life ain't fair. I had about 20 seconds to defend myself. Game 86 and pink was on me. I hope he eats a chicken nugget that is too hot and burns his mouth. Lost my bed early. Game 87 too. Sometimes just can't catch a break. I prolonged I my life a little longer by getting a bow, but my death was definitely inevitable. Red used TNT to boost himself up to me. I had no chance. I didn't even know that was possible. Game 88, I had a lot of fighting with my neighbor Yellow, but he never invested in anything, so he stayed fairly weak. At a certain point, he left his base entirely to go get money, so I took his bed. Simple. And remember, when your neighbor's gone, it's so much easier to build yourself up, and that's all I did. One verse one, and now the only other player in the match is bedless, and I've still got mine. Now the last guy's cowering in someone else's base. This should be an easy win if I don't totally fumble this like many of the others. I ran in with fireballs and a golem because there's no way I could do this all myself. Yeah, despite all of that extra firepower, it was still a close fight, but I won. Game 89, back to it and back to getting out May late early. Just get this over with. We'll go to the next one. All right, last 10. Let's see if I can put any of my new skills to the test. I have new skills, right? Most of my wins come from strategy, not skill. But I'll have to work on that. I really don't think I've improved at all at melee combat. But I will say that is one of the nice things about Bed Wars is you don't necessarily have to be the fastest clicker to win a game. And I can always appreciate that. Being a fast clicker definitely helps, though. I wish I had one of them good mice. Here in game 91, I was next to a neighbor who was just way better than me. Doesn't mean I can't kill him every now and then. Here, I definitely thought I shot him off the side of the map. But when he didn't die, I kind of got confused. And now my bed's broken. Great. Oh. Oh, please, please, sweet revenge! Ugh. Games like this make me miss my Halo career. Game 92, within five minutes, this player here had eradicated everyone but me. Thankfully, I got a bow and was able to sort of defend myself, even killing him a couple of times. I know that he knew that all he had to do was close that gap and he would win, but I didn't let him. Somehow, I didn't let him. You can tell that he's mechanically good at the game. He didn't build anything around his bed, pretty much just left the thing open. And if you think I'm gonna win this one, you're very mistaken. All he had to do was kill me one time. He took out my bed and I was bowless. Oh yeah, I can tell by the way this guy was bridging that my death will be swift. Just make it quick, I hate when they toy with me. Oh, well, somehow I killed him. That was unexpected. Well, see you later, cruel world. Oh. You know you're bad when you can't even take yourself out. Game 94 is gonna end in a one verse one and I really tried to keep him six feet away. Of course he was after my bed, but somehow I luckily got him here. Got a bow and that stopped his assault for a little bit, but only for a little bit. What great clicking. Then I got rushed early game 95. Hardly had time to think before my bed was gone. Aqua, the guy that took my bed, was busy murdering everyone else and I had easy access to his base. Yeah, but you can tell by that bed defense he thinks he's very good. 1v1, we're both bedless. He's got experience, I've got a bow. Oh, if he gets anywhere near me, I know that I'm dead, but luckily, I got a lucky shot. He fell off the edge, and I won. I'm sure he was so mad, but you know what? I don't care. Game 96, right away, I could tell I was outmatched. Get a bow, 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 get a bow. Oh, he's already here. Getting rushed by some guy better is just the pure feeling of helplessness. Another guy came in quick. Game 97, when will it end? It ends with the sweet release of death. I am clicking him. He is not taking damage. I am clicking him! All right, please, just please, no one rush me early. I need a chance. Look at this bridging. You ever seen anything so fast? 
Whoa. At least I got a bow in this one. It's such a crutch, but I really don't care. Rushed blue with my bow, and boom, look at that. Probably could have got his bed too, but I bought my tools from a sketchy guy in a van. Blue then knocked me off his base with ease, and there goes my bow and my hope. Funny thing is, someone else entirely broke my bed and killed me. Game 99 is a minute long. The guy that I spawned next to was incredible. I couldn't even touch him. How does he hit me from so far away? I just want to know. Fantastic. Game 100 just started, and my bed's already being destroyed. I didn't give up, but I think I would have lasted longer if I just jumped off the edge. I feel like that was a little too fast to say anything that I normally like to say in a game 100, so this is game 101. I played team-based bed wars because I honestly have more fun with it, and I probably won't get rushed and die in the first two minutes. 100% I was very frustrated at times playing this game, but you know what? Through the 100 games, I definitely also had some fun. I can see why so many people have recommended me Bed Wars over the years. It made some fantastic content, at least in my opinion. So much so that I think I'd like to do more if you'd like to see it. I know for a fact I was doing tons of stuff wrong this whole video. Here I'm playing on Minecraft 1.8. I wasn't fantastic, but it definitely felt easier. And I won. But anyway, back to Bed Wars, where we're against a single, bedless red player. He knew his fate, and he decided to leave on his own terms. I've been there. I respect it. Thank you all for watching these 100 games of Bed Wars. I'm seriously considering a sequel, so make sure you subscribe to not miss that. I got a lot of content coming. I played 100 games of Build Battles, and I think you guys will really like that one. Keep an eye out for more content. See you in the next one. Stay notable.